generally speaking, you're looking for what are the different reasons people buy and then what makes them predisposed to those particular reasons. So it might be some are corporates, some are individuals, some are sponsors, some are philanthropists. Great. So what I would do is I would go to my mailing list or my accounting system and look at my 50 most recent donors and try to get a sense of why did they give us money? What, what prompted that? And, and then, you know, why do they see such value in it? When you go through a list of, you know, your most recent 50 donors, at the surface, they may look like very, very different people giving different amounts of money. What I want to understand is to, you know, how can we bunch them by where they made the same type of decision? So they supported us for the same underlying reason or the same core philosophy. So it might be things like geography. It might be where they live. It also could be things like the amount of uh, money they gave. It could be things like... Um, my customers are people who have heard our founder speak at a particular event. It might be people whose lives have been affected by our social mission and the work that we do. It might be um, these are all people with a certain level of disposable income that makes them able to afford to give us a certain amount of money. Or it might be our, our customers are people who have participated in an event like Live Below the Line or you know the 40 Hour Famine or something along those lines how do we categorize those groups? Is it they're young or old or is it they live in these particular areas or is it that they, they all subscribe to the same website? What is it that they, they have in common? So for someone like The Big Issue, they've actually got two different types of customer segments. One is the person on the street who walks past a seller. They need to be in the same you know, general proximity as, as the person selling the magazine. The other customer segment though are offices and corporations who will buy an annual subscription to the magazine. They can be much further away, but they buy in because they share the ethos of the big issue. I think one of the, the most common mistakes is to not examine the underlying reason behind why people buy. You may well have two or three or four different customers who all look the same but buy for completely different reasons. So I, wanted, I, I tend to track people by their behavior rather than the aesthetics or behind the demographics or different things like that. For example, when I buy the big issue, I know that there's a particular seller out the front of a supermarket mm -hmm. near me, an IGA, yep. and he knows me, yep. and I buy it from him every time there's a new one. Yep. Um, it feels good. I also want to make sure that our customers are people who are actually making a financial contribution. We're not just talking about people who like us or who follow us on social media. I'm looking for the people who actually make a choice and make a contribution. And that's where you see really clever organizations sending out those surveys and trying to trace back. You, you can see you know, the inner workings. They're trying to work out, thank you for your donation, but how did you hear about us? Because when you can find that out, that enables you to go, okay, we've got these 10 donors came from this particular source. If we put some work in, we can get 100 more from where they came from.